Hey everybody, it's Hajgod and Lollipop. Last time, we defeated the twin demons Lechku and Nechku. We got our final solar energy, maxing out our energy. And, Shiranui was saved and went back to go and die from Auto G. On a happier note, we're almost done with this game. Amaterasu and the others returned to the foot of the Zofuje. There, they saw Laika praying intently. The storm had subsided. Then, as if to celebrate their hard-won victory, the twin volcanoes of Ezefuje erupted in great pillars of flame. The villagers felt the warmth on their skin and wept tears of joy. However, Oki merely sh survived the scene stokily, remaining silent. Although the evil demons had been driven away, the thought of having taken the sword and caused so much grief weighed heavily on his heart. The only one who could ease the burden of his woes was Samical, the chieftain who had rescued Kamu from the shrine stepped forward. Silently, he approached Oki, offering out an outstretched hand. His eyes betrayed the complexity of the emotions beyond the gesture. Oki realized the gravity of the scene, extended his hand in turn. The moment they shook hands, Wepkir was reborn into a village far too strong to ever fall victim to evil again. As for Kuton, the sword that vanquished the twin demons, it was returned to its pedestal by Oki's own hands, and as long as the glow remained, no evil dared draw close. Kuton's gleam spoke of a power too great to succumb to evil. At that moment, a brilliant flash of light shot forth from Kuton. Striking squarely on the frozen surface of Lakuchi Lake. Though the lake had never shown any sign of melting, cracks began to open up along its surface. The legend of the Iron Ark Yamato, said to have fallen from heaven, and the holy Lakuchi Lake, which is called home, was revealed to be more than a mere legend before all those present. Hey everyone, it's Hodge God and Lollipop. Now you may, first of all, be wondering why the ultimately evil arc of Yamato has a rainbow leading, leading up to it. But that is because, apparently in Japan culture, rainbow is a sign for bad, a sign for evil, and a sign for death. So that, that's actually why it has it. And this game could be ended right now. We could go up and fight the final boss. But we have so much more to do, and we, this is probably going to be about six or seven, at least, episodes before we come back here and go and aboard Yamato. Let's go back, and let's leave, let's leave Webkir for right now. Uh, there's so much stuff I want to do. I want to um, complete the stray beads, I want to get everything done, and then we will go and beat this game. This game has taken almost a year to complete, and if I can, I'm going to try to upload the final part on Christmas. I might um, upload some Minecrafts if I have finished this game, until and just keep the final part, and like slowly release it until Christmas, so it can be like a one-year project. It took me one year to start and beat this game, because in Christmas 2012, I started this game, and we are so close to being done right now. So much has happened, 
and we're I'm gonna try to make this as close to Christmas as I can okay I it's just astonishing me how close we are to beating this game also these wait is that the right one no I, don't, I think we already own the resurrection what the crap um oh yeah, yeah, yeah I remember exactly where it is um well the day of darkness is coming but it, don't worry, it won't be here until we board the Ark of Yamato. <laughs> you don't have to be, well, crap. <laughs> Just walking around, trying to do some side quests. And speaking of side quests, we have quite a few. Um, <coughs> I'm actually going to do some side quests in Webkir while I'm here. Um, before I get, I, I want the Solar Flare to have a little bit more time because we are going to get our final Rosary. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to wear the Solar Flare in the final boss's area. And we're going to wear Thunder Edge for right now. Because, I mean, the Thunder Edge is really cool, and I want to get that to have some time. And before we can afford the uh, the new rosary, the final rosary, um, I want I really want to use the Solar Flare. Woohoo! It's so much warmer in it since Azufuja erupted. I came out to play in the snow straight away, and I made a gigantic snowball. All of the grown-ups complain about the snow, but we kids love being outside. It doesn't matter how cold it is. Why don't you try making a big snowball too, Wolfie? I'm only a kid, so this is the biggest I can manage. But you're bigger than me, so you should be able to do better. Just keep on rolling that one there. Make it really, really huge. Okay, well, actually, we are we're like the same size on all fours as he is, so we're probably quite a bit taller than him. Now... You're going to have to make the snowball really big. Uh, the way you make it bigger is you roll over some uh, balls, basically. And, um, yeah. It's actually kind of not that bad. I know it's a ball-pushing minigame thing. Side quest thing. And I know I hate them so much, but luckily it's not like you're doing it through an obstacle. It's pretty easy. As long as you go slowly and then move with the other joystick, you will have no problem pushing it. I was, this is actually a tip I saw online, but how to make it easier. As long as you walk slowly and move around, instead of moving around with your other, just keep your first joystick forward, and um, and then move. Whoops, don't go too fast though. Uh, move around with your right joystick to make the ball actually really easy to push. And let's just make this as big as we can. This is a big pot, piece of snow. Uh, don't care if I miss a couple pieces. I will be going back. I think you have to get every single one But um, just keep pushing it slowly. I will we'll make a couple trips through. Oops. I think I can go a little faster Don't get it in the water though That's something you don't want to do. I think it might reset it Just go over here I want to make sure I get every single piece. There's also quite a bit of praise to be gotten in here, so we should get this. I might actually just make a sweep of praise after I do the snowball thing. Crap, I missed one. I like the music here. It's not uh, intense like the uh, awesome songs were, like the Oki song and all that stuff. But I can't believe how close we are to the end of this game, guys. This has been such a gigantic project. This is a long game. Uh, it takes a long time to play through. And I'm sure I am I might... People have been requesting when I... Um, actually, quite a few people have been talking about me doing a stream for the stray beads. The three stray beads that take forever. They take like an hour each. And I don't know. Um, I might... I don't, I don't know if my hopage can, because I have the older hopage, and I don't know if it can stream. I'm pretty sure it can't. But I might just upload like an hour long episode with that. And because, because these, the stray beads take forever. Actually, that might be my, that might be my solution to how I'm going to Get the final part up on Christmas. I don't worry, guys. It's not going to be like, oh my gosh, he's just he's just buffering it up until Christmas. No, I'm going to once once I'm down to the final part, I will upload Minecraft parts. Um, it's not, and then I'll just have the final part up on Christmas with 
I don't know what I'm gonna doing for Christmas yet anyway. Can't think about that. Oh my gosh, it's actually 20 days away. I'm recording this on the 5th of December. I'm gonna grab these. And I was going too fast. This snowball's getting pretty big. But uh, the kid, and I think you can like miss like, like three piles of snow. So you really have to make sure you don't miss anything. Because the kid's very picky about how big his snow, the snowball he wants is. But this is the kind of episode to get people in the Christmas mood. mood because um, it's very snowy here. I'm just going to pick up the stragglers. I can barely see where I'm going, so it's kind of a little difficult. I don't know if you can bump it into the wall, so I'm just going to be very careful about that. Plow through all this. Okay. Let's go back and sweep up a little bit. Problem is, I really can't see what I've missed. Okay. Just keep going. Man, there's a ton of snow here. Oh my gosh. This kid's gonna be better be happy. I think he gives us like 50 praise and, and some other things. I think he actually gives us a stray bead. And 50 praise. So it is, it is, I think this this one is a required thing you have to do. That was, that was repetitive. A, a required thing you have to do. Hmm. Good at English I am. Okay. Not repetitive, redundant. Oh my gosh. Don't, I don't know if I can hit the fire or not. But I'm just going to be very careful. Make sure I pick up all the snow. Um, this is coming up on Monday the 9th. And um, that's exciting. Uh, I, I really can't think of anything else to say right now. They're just pushing a stupid ball. Holy crap, there's so much snow I missed. Oh my gosh. There's so much snow. Which is good. I love snow. Um, I've actually always... I've lived up north my entire life, and snow is just, like, one of my favorite things. Um, I love it when it snows. I think it's just gorgeous. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But, um, yeah, I really, I really enjoy the snow. I mean, I'm not even playing it. I don't really play in the snow. Um, I remember when I was little, I would make all these snowball forts and stuff. And then I'd, <laughs> um, then I'd, like, leave them out and they'd freeze overnight. The snow would get, like, iced over. And, um, and it'd make the forts perfect because they can't be destroyed. So, um, and then I'd have... Some of my friends had these snowball fights that were like icy snowballs, and uh, the snow the snow forts would of course not break because they were like hard as rock. You couldn't kick them over, um, and it, it was crazy awesome. We actually made, I think we made a snowball. It was probably bigger than I remember. It was probably smaller than I remember because I remember it being so big, like I had trouble climbing up to sit on it. But um, I was like ten when I did that, so. It was probably a lot smaller than I remember. It was probably like only six feet tall, um, which is gigantic. But um, like I remember, I needed to make snow steps to get up there. But um, we had, we I had a gigantic yard as a kid. Um, my my family is it's we're well off, but um, but. <laughs> it was it was so much fun just making the huge snowballs and it, definitely not this big relative to like a dog the size of probably I don't know what size a Matarasu would be relative to a real life dog I'm assuming like a Labrador 
I'm thinking. Because um, wolves aren't actually that big. I'm not sure what size uh, Madarasu should be relative to dogs in real life. Speaking of Labradors, I actually had a Labrador, and uh, she was awesome. We had to get rid of her because uh, she 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 was uh, she had Lyme disease and she bit someone. Whoa! You did it, Wolfie. I've never seen a snowball so huge. I can't believe you got it so big. It's almost scary, but really cool too. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cool. You definitely need the Snowball King of Kamue now, Wolfie. And he gives us 50 praise, and I believe he gives us a stray bead. First, Hole Digging King, and now Snowball King. Boy, you sure have a bunch of silly t uh, titles. What? Really? I don't get a stray bead? I thought I did. Crap. That stinks. I really hope I'm not missing something. There's got to be a stray bead in here, I think. Here, one sec. Let me just let me just Google it. Kamaway stray beads in Okami. Not Callaway. Oh crap! <laughs> it's still thinking. Oh crap! <laughs> Okami stray beads in snow area. That's that's what I have to say. Because it, I can't say Kamui, won't really know that. Okami Snowball Stray Bead. There we go. Not Stray Beat. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> this is nuts. Also, I love having my health. Oh, there's a Stray Bead. Never mind. Screw it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, let's go back to the timer. Um... I knew there was a stray beat in here somewhere. Apparently, you don't have to do that snowball thing. It is a great way to get a ton of praise. But, um, do I have my... I do not have my water tablet on. Let me just put that on, because I really want to have it on. I believe there are quite a few things I can get with it. Um, what do I need? I don't need... I don't need a peace bell. <laughs> just pulls herself up to stand on it. Anything down there? No. Uh, let's get this chest... Uh, an exorcism slip M. That's nice. And there's someone over here. Oh, that's okay with the snowball. <laughs> I think we're done here. Um. Yep, looks like it. I'm going to have to uh, study where the. Wait, how do I leave? Oh, I'm gonna have to study where the stray beads are and the ones I need because I don't want it to take forever. And also, I'm going. To, I'm saying this now. I might change my mind later, but I'm going to try to finish my fish tome. Oh, gosh. Maybe I might do that as a bonus episode if you guys really want to see that. Because I already did it once, and I really don't want to have to do it again. It's awful. Um, There's got to be some more stuff at Kamui. There, like, there has to be. I've barely explored this place. Hello, cranes. You need some seeds. You need some uh, fish, 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 fish. Fishies for cranes. There you go. Nine. That's nice. Let's just go over here really quick. Anything good? In the water? I can't get up there. Let's go the other way. Wait, what? How do we get up there anyway? Um, okay. So waterfall over here. Can I get up there? No, it does not look like it. Okay, well, um, we're at 19 minutes, so thinking we're going to end it off here. Oop. Oh, treasure chest. I think this might be a straight beat or something. Nope. Oh, etched glass. That's nice. Um, where, where can I go that I haven't gone before here? Um, there's like, I know there's, there's gotta be a place I've missed. Oh, well, I, there might be something I missed over here. What is this place? What is it? What is it? Uh, do not leave the door open. Got that, furball. People in this icy land keep their doors closed for obvious reasons. Yes, I know. 
It must be very cold. Um... I don't know if I can get up there. So I'm not going to try. I will be doing a complete list of the... Or I will be... Um... What am I trying to say? I will be collecting every single stray bead before I end this series off. Not sure about the fish tome or treasure tome. Um... Or what are the other tomes? Um, I will be com trying to complete my move lists because that's something you just pretty much have to do. Uh, let me just see if I can afford that final rosary. Hello, sir. Just heard about stuff. Yes, I'd like to do some shopping. First, I'll sell my crystal, my etched glass, and my white pottery. I, I already sold the white pottery thing. Uh, I do not have. Oh my gosh! Let's let's sell something and get this, because uh, we really, I really want this. Um, what can we sell? We just need fifteen thousand yen. Pocket change, really. Do I need holy bone ems? It's fifteen hundred. Ooh, I don't really need these. Um. Vengeance slips, infinity stones. I can get rid of three of these. Oh, 4,000 more. Come on. One of them. Okay, there we go. Let us. Oh, no, that's sold out. Okay. Um, I know there's there's one thing for 500,000 yen. Let's just go tra teleport really quick and get that. Um, I really want to get that. It's at the weapons dealer in the phone. Um, I'm just. Okay, uh, let me just, let me just, no, 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 no to phone, I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> North Region Coast, Rocky Area. Sorry, I was just texting back. Um, Region Coast, there we go. Uh, I should have gone to the other one area, because I'll have to run. That's fine, that's fine. We can make this a little longer. I've been sticking to 20 minutes, pretty much. We can make this a tiny bit longer. But uh, we are so close to done. What was that? That's a crane or something. Um, I'm not going to want to be near any demon scrolls because we have our uh, peace bell off. So they won't be very peaceful to us. And we are going to be getting to go th through here up to the uh, astral quarter. No. The aristocratic quarter is the rich quarter. So the commoner's corner. Quarter. Let us go here. Also, it's all beautiful now. We are almost done, guys. I don't know how many more parts, but I'm going to try to make it for Christmas. Because that's kind of a big goal of mine. I usually try to end it on a really awesome note. And I usually try to make my series a certain length. Um, but in parts, I mean. And, um... I don't care about the part length, but as long as it ends in Christmas, I'm, I'm going to try to do that. Let us talk to the weapons dealer. His final thing is the Tundra Beads for 500,000 yen. We're going to buy it. It's the fifth and final equipment slash rosary we have. And it gives us, like the Thunder Edge, which gives us lightning, the Solar Flare, which gives us fire. This gives us the power of ice. Now I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to use my golden dust on it and I'm going to equip it right here have this here and this is probably one of my favorite things look at that that is seriously cool thank you all for watching or please subscribe this is Ben let's play Okami what are you looking at look at me look at me thank you all for watching this has been let's play Okami Next time, we will do something else. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Bye.